Hey guys, uh, first night of hitchhiking and today was pretty successful. I made it all the way from, well, I guess it would be Dapto to, um, where am I, Aladella, which is, <laughs> matter of fact, I don't really know how far it is, but it's a nice spot. I'm camping on the beach. Um, don't really think I'm allowed to be here, but nonetheless, here I am. Um, going pretty good. I only had to wait about five minutes per hitch, which is it's pretty decent considering I don't have a pair of mammary glands, which usually does help every every hitchhiker who does have a pair, but I don't. So well, it's going pretty good. Um, my my ride from Naura to Aladella was probably the weirdest one, mainly because he was so quiet and he mumbled and he said he was a lawyer, but I don't know, I have a funny feeling that there was some fibbing going on. I could be wrong, um, I could be very, very wrong, you know, he could be telling the truth, but just the way his mannerisms, the way he was talking to me and so on and so forth, it, I don't know, I don't think he was really telling me the truth. Anyway. Um, yeah, uh, ended up dropping off my gear in Aladella, grabbing the essentials, and just puttering around and just checking the town out. It's a really nice place, really chill, really laid back. Uh, ended up grabbing one beer at the, at the local Hotel Marlin, and then I meet one of the locals who starts talking to me. Apparently he's an ex-professional uh, uh, surfer. And he buys me a beer, and we start talking, and then meet heaps of his other friends, and then, yeah, it was a really, really good bunch. Uh, the surfer invited me over to his house, but I was a bit skeptical to it. Um, he said he had some alcohol problems and some drug problems, and, yeah, I don't think anything bad would have happened, but I'd rather be on the safe side. So I came here. Um, some of his friends, they have a batch over in um, in the local local campgrounds, which they pair yearly for their camper van and caravan. And they said I could like crash in front of theirs, but then I would have to pay, and I wasn't really all that keen. And um, yeah, long story. Anyway, uh, when I was making my food here some locals dropped by there like maybe max 20 20 years old guy and girl both had a towel and or the girl had the towel and yeah uh, they're probably just getting up to something naughty nasty and uh yeah i thought it was pretty cool didn't really talk to him just said hi and i wonder if i'd caught anything but no, no catching a fish for me. Just had some rice and tuna, which went down adequately. Nothing too exciting. Rice was rice had uh, been cooking in chicken, chicken uh, broth, or chicken, uh, yeah, whatever. It was alright. So. Jet lag is. It's alright. It's alright. I'm coping with it. Um, today should be a good sleep. Like, properly timed and so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, this will this will be the last leg of it. Um, tomorrow, hitchhike down. Try to get to Eden. And then, from Eden. Melbourne and then Melbourne over to Hobart. We'll see how that goes. I'm not really holding my breath, but yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, the weird thing was that this girl, she said, uh, yeah, the boys will be around early in the morning. It's like, um, what? Then <laughs> obviously it's the surfers. This is a surfers beach. And then uh, she's like, yeah, be safe. No, I wonder if it's her drunken state. I, I'm guessing that she was drunk. 
just the way she kind of looked through my <laughs> headlamp, which is it's a good headlamp, but I didn't really look at her. But yeah, small stumbling around it. Yeah. Yet again, could be wrong. Hopefully, I am. Um, the woman at the uh, tourist center said that the locals aren't that bad, and I shouldn't be too worried. So I guess I won't. Surfers apparently won't bother, won't be bothering me, but uh, you never know, right? Um, what else can I say? Yeah, I really, <laughs> it's warm, it's so warm, and uh, I reckon after Taz I'm going to try to get rid of as much winter clothing as possible, just to cut down on even more weight, because food and, yeah, camping gear, it's taking up weight and space and so on and so forth, so try to get rid of as much as possible of that, and uh, just raw dog it most of the time, like, my wax, like, getting rid of it, that, like, really cutting down to bare essentials, and, uh, yeah, you know, I'll feel, I'd like to have wax every once in a while, if I ever go out, so on and so forth, but I have a funny feeling that once my hair gets too long, I'll be shaving my head anyway, just to make my life that much more easier and convenient, and, yeah, yeah, we'll see. You got some time until my hair grows out way too much and it gets, starts getting really hot. And um, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Probably should have bought the external hard drive for my photos instead of using the whole DVD concept, but. Hmm. I'm trying to figure something out about that. Anywho, I'm gonna go to sleep, put on a playlist, enjoy some music. And yeah, just gonna chill out, you know. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, see ya. Bye.